So welcome to today's video on creating coupon codes in Made Me. So once you're in your dashboard, you want to click coupons and you'll see a list of any coupons that you already have made. If you don't have any, it'll be blank. Click add coupon. And this is where we're going to put the information in. Start by giving a coupon code. Ours is Made Me 10 and then a description. So here we will put 10% off patterns and yarns because that's what we've decided to do. We sell a lot of other things too, but just on patterns and yarns. On the general tab, we're going to decide what type of discount. Is it a fixed amount or is it a percentage? We've gone for a percentage discount. So click the drop down box and select percentage discount. You can choose to apply it to all of your products if you want to. We don't want to, so we're going to leave that unchecked. Go to coupon amount. And here we're going to put in that we want 10% off. You can add an expiry date to your coupon. So if you want it to run for just 28 days, you can select a date. So you click in the box and it will bring up the calendar. Choose the date you want it to end. You can also apply free shipping to your coupon code if you want to. Scroll back up and we're going to look at usage restrictions. So click usage restrictions and here you can apply a minimum spend value to your coupon code. For example, somebody has to spend £25 before they can apply the discount. You would put that in there. You can apply a maximum spend as well. You can choose individual use only, meaning that you can't apply this coupon with any other coupons and you can exclude sale items from your shop. Here you can add the type of products, the, the titles of your listings for the products that you want to include or the products you want to exclude. So for example, you type in the box to search for the item that you want to um, apply the discount to and then you click it. So I'm actually going to take that out of there. We've got so many yarns and patterns that we're actually going to use the exclude products box instead. So it's a lot easier um, to apply the uh, patches and the tote bags and any of the sewing um, supplies into the exclude products box because there's less of those than the patterns and yarns. We just figured that it would be easier to do it that way. So here I'm typing in keywords from my product titles so that I can find the listings that I want to exclude from the discount. This can be a little time consuming. But it's worth it. Now there is another box as well which is email restrictions where you would type in a person's email into the box. Um, we haven't tried this bit out yet. Um, it, I think it will be an option that we probably won't use. So when you fill that in we're going to go back up and click usage limits. So usage limit per coupon, this means how many times can that particular coupon code be used? So you just type in the quantity in there. So if you want it to on, only be used, say, five times, just put a number five in there and it'll only be applied five times. You can limit the quantity of items that can be used on the product code. So you put that figure in there. And the last box is limit the amount of times a coupon can be used by a particular user. So if you want people to only use the code once, you would put a number one in there, which would mean that if they try to use the coupon code again, they won't be able to. 
Now we've opted to have all these options blank for now. When you're ready, click add coupon to save it. Now it wouldn't save for me. So I went back and I double checked everything. So I checked the title, the description, went to general and noticed that the coupon amount um, wasn't allowing me to save the listing. So I just deleted the percentage symbol and just left the figure in there. And then I clicked add coupon. And it saved for me. So you go to coupons double check that it's in there and you can see that the coupon that we've just made you see the coupon name made me 10 you've got the option to edit or delete tells you the type of coupon it is the discount applied to it and so on and so forth and it's as simple as that if you have enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button and click the bell